And when you go from being uncomfortable, that's your lifestyle, you get used to being uncomfortable. Right. When you go back to being comfortable, your mind says, I don't want to go back to sure. being uncomfortable again. That's right. It's so hard to get past that because we have all these connections in our mind when it comes to comfort. Our bodies, for whatever reason, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. But it's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles in, in terms of like how you feel about life, a lot of those are connected to discomfort. Like discomfort is your friend. Failure is a part of life and it's important to acknowledge it. You know, we take life too seriously. Honestly, when I look at life nowadays, I treat it like a game. If you play a game and you're always somewhere in the corner trying to be safe, guess what? You never go to the next level. You gotta put yourself out there. But for some reason, when we live our lives, we always want to feel so comfortable. But the comfort zone is a death zone, basically. Because what happens is when you are afraid to fail, then you limit your actions, you get paralyzed. And, and what happens is very often people fall into this trap of trying to wait for the perfect moment to do the right thing. Not realizing that the, the moment is never perfect. Tim Ferriss used to say, I like this, he said it in his book, all the traffic lights of, of life will never be green at the same time. And it's true, you just gotta pull the trigger do the damn thing and sometimes by doing it you learn so much more. So how do you practice doing the uncomfortable thing that's going to be beneficial? How do you practice taking that nozzle from nice, toasty, warm, comfortable, hot to cold? Well you do it and you do it over and over and over again until it becomes not even a choice, it's not even an option. You don't look at it and debate with yourself and argue with yourself, well should I, should I, well is it really going to be that good? Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Well, you just don't do that anymore. I had to be honest with you man. I'm even shaking right now being on this show. I'm a big time introvert. How you address it is you face it. You face it every day. You face it every single day of your life. And that's the way that you practice, you know, and then the more you practice that again, practice makes master. Don't be comfortable because what you think is awesome right now, there could be so much more, you know, if you can envision and pay attention to what's going on in the rest of the world mm -hmm. and break out of that paradigm that you're in mm -hmm. and see that you can fly. But one thing you gotta remember about is that when you don't push yourself to pull the trigger on things that matter to you, you are not just depriving yourself of the opportunity to become the best version of yourself, but you are depriving all of those people that you could potentially impact of that opportunity to be impacted by you.